this is Frank Furness and welcome again to technology and top social media tips. Today what we're going to be speaking about is how to remove crap from your computer. Do you know so many times when you download stuff there's all kinds of extra things being added in in the background or little ticks that you don't even see that are there and they start to download all kinds of crap to your computer. So today I'm going to show you how we can remove that. Well the first place we're going to go to is let's go over to a little place called the PC Decrapifier. PC Decrapifier and let's move over and if we'll go to the, uh, the website over there, the PC Decrapifier. Now this is a great little site, I just tried this out, it's a free download. Download the software, once you've got it, it comes up like this there, just save the file, download the file. Welcome, we're going to take you through a quick walk. It downloads pretty quickly and uh, then what we've got is it's set up over there and then this is what it looks like. So if we take a look here, if we go in there, recommended, so there's not too many recommendations, questionable, everything else. Now look at this, I mean there's just tons and tons of stuff I've got on my computer and it's going to tell me about each one of these and whether I should be removing them or not. So it tells you over here what you should be doing. So uh, LinkedIn Outlook Toolbar, I actually quite like that over there. Dream Day First Home. What is that? You know, so I might say, okay, let's click on that there. I want to get rid of that there. Dairy Dash. Okay. Don't know what Dairy Dash is over there. But let's say I just chose those over there and I click Remove Selected. And that's great. I've now got rid of those horrible little things that I haven't been wanting. There we go. Begin Removal now. And I got rid of, what is Dairy Dash? What is Dream Day First Home? Never heard of those things, obviously, somewhere along the line. They've been put into my computer. Now, there's a second source you can go to. And the second one, and this is one I also like, it's called Should I Remove It? Should I Remove It? If we go over to their website over here. There we go. Welcome to shouldiremoveit.com. Now, the same thing. If we go into that, uh, you just go in there, start the download. And this one comes up, uh, looks similar, but that's what it looks like there. Should I remove it? Shows me I've got over 200 programs over there. Removal percentage, I quite like this over here. So HP customer participation program, I definitely don't want that. So let's go uninstall. Yeah, I'm going to uninstall that there. Shop for HP suppliers. No, I don't like you. Let's get rid of you over there. Get rid of that. Oh, the Yahoo toolbar. I've been wanting to get rid of this for years. Uninstall. Bye bye. There we go. And you're gone. Are you sure you want to uninstall the Yahoo toolbar? Yeah, let's go. You're gone. And so now you can go through, work through everything over here. See what you want. See what you don't want. And that's how easy it is to remove all of the crap from your computer.